All right, everyone. So we're first going to start by introducing you to some of the tools and equipment that is found inside of the A Plus Medics kit. So first we have the suturing board with the soft material on top that's going to be used for the practice of suturing. And uh, now we're going to go over each of the instruments just so that everyone is familiar with uh, each one. So um, first on the right hand side we have the uh, scalpel holder um, and um, some scalpels right next to it. We'll talk about this a little bit later with how to safely place the scalpel on. Um, these are the scissors that can be used to cut through the suture material. When you're cutting the suture material after a knot, you want to go in at it straight 90 degrees and then slant it slightly sideways just so that you can leave a little bit of a room on the suture material. Next we have um, the uh, needle driver. So this is obviously the most important tool when it comes to suturing. Um, this is what you hold the needle with. You put your ring finger and your thumb through the holes and put your index finger at the top to apply the pressure and help you guide it as well. So that's the motion that you're gonna be making whenever you're driving the needle through the skin. Next we have uh, the curved forceps. Um, the, cur the curved uh, mosquito forceps can be used to hold uh, the sutures together, the string together, or just to clamp down on anything that you need to clamp on. And again, you hold it the same way as the needle driver. Next, we have the gripped um, forceps. Uh, these uh, toothed forceps are used really to apply pressure on the skin, um, which will help drive the needle easier through the skin. So pretty much hold it like that, like a pencil, and um, you just apply pressure on the skin while you're driving the needle just to make sure that you get extra uh, tension on the skin from that. And uh, there's some uh, of the other suture material.